the day. So all the main important thing, guys, the last thing for number four was rational exponents. The only thing different with rational exponents is you're just going to need to know how to rewrite rational exponents as radical expressions, which we've talked about in our notes. But when we're simplifying problems with rational exponents, you're just going to use the you're just going to want to use your rules of exponents. So make sure you know all of your rules of exponents. The first rule of exponent here, guys, is this is the power to product rule. When you have a product, negative eight times y to the ninth, raised to a power, that power gets distributed to both of your terms in the product. That is one of your rules of exponents we've gone over in the class. So make sure you remember that. The next thing is we now have the um, now we need to remember how what does rational exponents remember? Well, what is the rule for converting a rational exponent to a uh, rational exponent to a radical expression? If you guys remember, if it's x to the a over b, that's equal to the b root of x to the a. So therefore, three is now going to be my index, and one is going to be my power. So that's the cube root of negative 8 to the first power, which would just be negative 8. And I'll write it in there. And then over here, before I go ahead and rewrite this, can I, the next rule of exponents we need to remember is the power rule. When you have an exponent raised to a power, what do you do with them? You don't add, you're going to simplify. It rhymes with multiply. So how do you multiply a whole number times a fraction? Well, you rewrite your whole number as a fraction. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So therefore, that becomes y to the 9 thirds, which we'll be able to simplify here in just a second. So now let's look at this, guys. The cube root of negative 8, what is that asking? What number multiplied by itself three times gives you negative 8? Well, 2 times 2 times 2 gives you positive 8. So negative. But I thought you couldn't take the, the square root of a negative number. That's right. We're not taking the square root. We're taking the cube root. When you have an odd root, you can take the odd root of negative numbers. So therefore, this becomes negative 2. And then 9 divided by 3 is just going to be 3. Whoa. Done.